Hi, I'm Roger Simpson, and I'm here with Gavin Colmsey from Bedshed Franchising to talk about Bedshed. Hi, Gavin. G'day, Roger. So, tell me about Bedshed. How long have they been around? Oh, Bedshed started out retailing in Perth, selling waterbeds, actually, in okay. about 1980. Right. And we started franchising in 1982. Mm-hmm. So we're actually one of the longest-running business franchises in Australia. Wow, okay. So quite a, lot, quite a long history. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. And there's been some research recently about your franchisees and about them being financially satisfied. Tell, tell me about that. Yeah, we, we conducted some independent research uh, just recently, which which basically showed us that our, our franchisees were more financially satisfied than 84% of the franchise sector. Wow, that's powerful, so isn't a it? tremendous result mm. for our franchise and probably goes to the, the length of the time that our franchise has been around and the way that it's evolved over that period mm. of time. Mm. Okay. And you also, what I know from your business is that your franchisees are sort of quite included in various things, aren't they? So I know you have overseas buying trips, etc. So perhaps explain a bit more about that. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, the way we structure our business is we like to have our franchisees involved in, in everything from promotional activity to selecting products. Mm-hmm. So we have two major buying trips every year. And just recently we had 23 people on our buying trip in September. So right. we, in Vietnam, a large group of franchisees, and everyone gets to have their say and have some input. Yeah, we yeah. find that's Fantastic. a that's the way we include our franchisees. Yeah. So obviously you get a lot of buy-in from that as well as far as when they come back about with their stock, of course, because they've had an input into that. Oh, absolutely. And there's nothing better for from a franchisee's point of view to see how the product's developed, yeah, to yeah. see how it's evolved and see the factory that it's made in. Yeah, of course. Of course. Fantastic. And so what do you think makes us a successful franchisee? Oh, it's... You know, in the end, we're a retailer and we're dealing with the public every mm. day. So you have to have a positive attitude. You know, it, retailing's not the easiest thing in the world, so you've got That's to have a good tough. work ethic. Yeah. Having said that, mm-hmm. what we find with our franchisees is once they've established their business over a period of time, they tend to have a really nice lifestyle in terms of whether they want to drop off or pick up their kids from school, yeah, yeah. they want to have overseas holidays, or, or generally sort of work their time to suit what their lifestyle is. Mm. Okay, cool. What's the future hold for Benchy and Gavin? I think the future holds quite a bit for us. Um, you know, it, it, probably the, the most important part about the bedshed business at the moment is we haven't reached a saturation point. So we're mm-hmm. looking for expansion yep. opportunities, in particular in the eastern states. So areas like southeast Queensland, like Tasmania, New South Wales, where currently we're only operating a few stores. Yep. So we can open plenty of new stores without cannibalising our existing bedshed uh, yeah, stores. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually about growing our market share, growing our presence and our marketing presence. Mm. And that's really important. When you look at people that we're competing with, and how they're struggling now to open new stores because they're actually just taking business from existing yeah, yeah. stores. Yeah, of course, of course. So I understand that you're actually assisting potential franchisees to get into the business a bit easier? Yeah, absolutely, Roger. What we're aiming to do is find the right franchisee and then work a way to get them into our business. So that might be through using our accreditation with um, Westpac and with Bank West okay. to get them finance, or alternatively, we may put that finance together for them. So right. it's a significant investment to get into a bedshed franchise, so we're, we're hoping to help the right person get into those franchises. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. All right, well, look, thanks, Kevin. It's been uh, great to have a chat today. So if I'm a potential franchisee, what do I do now? I'm sure any potential franchisee will have a whole heap of questions that they want to ask Mm. us. So probably the best point of contact is to go onto our website on the franchising page and contact our business development manager from there and he'll be able to answer those questions. And all the details are there, phone numbers, etc.? Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. It's been great, Gavin. Great. Thanks Thanks again. Cheers.